In today's two minute Adobe XD tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create some easy animated icons very quickly that you can use in your pre-existing prototypes. That's today's video. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, like always, if you remember, the completed project file is available in the community tab, so you can go over there and download that if you wish. All right, so I just have a random artboard here. I'm just using the 1920 by 1080 web artboard. You can use any one you want for today's tutorial. I'm just going to create a rectangle, and this is going to house our element that we're going to be creating, so our icon. And I'm just going to set it to 100 by 100 and zoom in on it. For now, I'm going to leave the border and the fill on just so we can see what we're working with. So this is going to be our canvas that we're going to create our icon inside of. So I'm simply just going to create any icon that I like. For example, this one we're going to do is a slider icon. So I'm just grabbing two rectangles and rounding the border radius on those. And we'll just fill those to a random darker gray color. And then we'll create some sliders just like so. And we'll create those as a lighter gray color. Hold alt to click and drag and duplicate to make an exact copy. And then I'm going to select everything and center that inside of our square here. So once we have the icon looking the way we want, obviously you'd be making this at a much smaller scale. I'm just doing this so when we live preview, you can actually see this. I'm going to select the square in the back, remove the border, and I'm going to turn the fill to 0%. I'm going to click and drag to make sure I grab everything, and Command K is going to group that as a component. So you see we have our component. You can also go up to Object, Make Component. We have the default state over here in the component menu, so I'm going to click the plus and select a new state. So this is going to be the selected state. So we can go ahead and make our adjustments. So in my animation, I just want the icons to shift around. So I'm going to change the position on mine and we'll add some color to these. Selecting our icon, we can go to the prototype tab. And for the default state, I'm going to hit plus on the interaction. It's going to be a tap trigger, auto animate. And then we need to select the state that we're going to be going to, which is state two. And for this one, I think I'm going to go with wind up. You can play around with wind up, bounce, any of them, and set your time that you want the duration to be over. So I'm just going to use 0.3 seconds for now. Same thing for state two, select the plus, and then repeat the settings. And then we can select live preview. So here in the live preview, when I tap on my icon, you can see that it animates and changes color for the active state. Here in this example, I've also done the same thing with these squares. So this is like a grid icon or a menu icon. And when you tap on it, one rotates and it changes colors in the same way. So if I hit the live preview on that, you can see that it kind of does this bouncing effect since I'm using bounce on the easing. And if we take a look at how this could work in a prototype, so imagine there's a design here and when I select something, an animation happens like that. So this is our screen for this and we can toggle that on and off. And that's simply by using two artboards. You could also do this with a component state, but to simplify this, I've just done one artboard and I have my group down here at 0% opacity with my default state of my icon. And then I've dragged a wire over to the second artboard with my state changed on my icon to the active state. And I've adjusted my elements where I want them. So they just slide in and then I've dragged a wire back. So that's how to set up some animated icons in Adobe XD and use them in your prototypes. Hope you guys found this quick two minute tutorial helpful. Make sure you subscribe for more design related content. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.